Hey everyone, Blue Shadow RP here, recording some more Super Mario Maker. And um, in Nintendo's re most recent Nintendo Direct, uh, they talked about an update, uh, an update for um, for Super Mario Maker. And um, it's pretty much just you know more, I guess, more objects and stuff that you can do, uh, more interchangeable things, as well as a new uh, 100 Mario Challenge. Um, mode which is super expert mode but yet I have yet to unlock that because I have not even completed the expert mode yet so um and you know some of you guys might be saying where is the second half of uh, expert mode well the problem is is that like some parts I'm not good at like some parts I've yet to need I've I really do need to practice on like let's say using a cape for example and flying with a cape or you know trying to spin jump correctly over a pit of spikes on piranha plants or something like that but um you know small things such as that i really do need to practice on because you never know if you may, may ne ever see that on a stage that you encounter right so i need to you know practice on that but um you know i'm gonna try to put out uh the second half of expert mode during my spring break if i can and um you know, it's just going to be a big challenge because I already have another game that I really do need to play during my spring break because it's actually coming out on Pi Day. So, you know, if you didn't know, March 14th is actually Pi Day. So looking forward to that. Um, but the objective, is this, uh, the objective of this video is going to be showing off the key update, which, um, you know, Super Mario Maker got some updates and stuff. So I might as well go check it out. Um, before I do that though, I do want to show off some levels that I made. Um, so my newest levels would be blooper attack and lots of saws. Uh, I do ha also have some other levels I have, but um, you know, I'll, if you you know if you would feel interested, um, then consider trying out you know my stages and stuff. I'll even put the IDs right here because. Um, yeah, there's the ID for blooper attack as well as the ID for lots of saws and you know other ones as well. So I only have like I only uploaded like five levels right now, but um I'll try to do more in the future, especially using the key upgrade as well or update. So um yeah, let's show off the key up the key update since it is pretty interesting. Um so let's just create a new level here and create a new course and let's show this off so i'm actually going to be showing the majority of this off in the new super mario brothers u style because uh just how for high definition it looks so yeah so let's uh first of all let's put some more ground here because i think we'll need it Okay, and then uh, let's just mess around a little bit. So, uh, first thing, if you actually put a thwomp and then you shake the thwomp, it turns into a skewer, kind of like uh, from that one part in uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii. It had like a, well, I think the first game I've actually seen screwers from is Super Mario World, and then I saw them in New Super Mario Brothers for the DS, and I saw them. In uh, new Super Mario Bros. Wii, so yeah. But the cool thing about this is they, you can change the direction of it. But the thing is though, that they do not travel all the way down. So let's see if we, let's see if we put it up like really high, and then try to play it. Um, well, I may need to add some more platform though, but um. If you try to put up a skewer like really high, then um, well, it's been a while since I've done level making, but let's see. It's been a while, but if you if I were to put up a skewer like that. It wouldn't travel it wouldn't travel like all the way to where it touches the ground so if you were to put it up high like that 
then uh, there might be some platform needed for that. So that's like the skewer. That's like the first thing. The second thing is if you have a P-switch, check the P-switch and then you can you can get a key and I think you can hold up to eight keys and it also goes with the amount of doors that you have available. And by doors, I mean key doors. You actually have to shake it twice, but um, the thing about this is that you have locked doors, right? Which is gonna make room for a lot of, you know, more difficult stages, which is why they implemented the super expert mode. But, um, you know, this also makes room for mandatory boss fights. You can also make an enemy um, hang on to an to a key. So let's say if we have a Kamek, for example, or a Magic Koopa, whichever you prefer. You give Magic Koopa a mushroom. And then you can actually make um, Magic Koopa hang on to the key. So... The key is in Magic Koopa's possession, so let's say if we were to just, um, let's create a wall here, actually. How would I do this? Let's create a wall. That wasn't a very straight wall, but... Yeah, we'll do something like that, and then we'll put the the key door up there since we can't jump that high so we'll do something like that and uh, for fun we'll put a skewer another skewer Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, there we go. So let's try that out, and then I'm just gonna put a mushroom here just in case. I think I will need a mushroom, so. So what do we have? We have uh, the key being in Kamek's pos possession, and then we also have the locked key doors. So if we want to progress, we're going to have to take out Kamek, and then grab the key, and then open the locked door with it. So And watch out for the skewers at the same time. So let's test this out. See if it works correctly. Alright, we took out Kamek, and now we have the key, and yeah, I thought those skewers would actually go further, but nope. Might have to put a second one, but you have the key, and it locks the door, obviously, and then you are free to progress. So, um, what I'm actually going to do is, I'm, I'm actually going to put a second skewer, or another skewer, as a matter of fact. Rotate it. So they'll actually clash into each other. And then, okay. So next thing is, um, here, we'll do this. They've actually added another thing. If you shake a coin, you actually get key coins. And I think you're gonna get up to like five of them. And if you have all five, then it, grants you a key and then thus you can you know unlock a door with it another door so what I'm gonna do is add some more platform here just put some platform down Make this one higher just to prevent anything from coming through. And then we'll put another locked door right there. And then the goal shouldn't be too far away. So what I'm going to do is actually put the locked door at the top like that. And 
and we'll see how this works. So, this is actually going to be, you know, testing out a couple things with the update. So, here we go. Grab our mushroom. The skewers are not clashing into each other like they, I thought they would. Well, I thought they would clash into each other. They're just, they're just overlapping, but... Okay. And then we enter that. And then grab the five uh, key coins and it grants you a key. Unlock that. And then, yeah. We just completed the test stage for the key update, so... Um... You know, some really cool updates. Um, I can tell this stuff is going to be implemented very well by some people. To the point of it possibly being a super expert mode. Um, yeah. I can tell some interesting and very unique puzzle uh, solving is going to be implemented with this stuff. Because, you know, where would you get the key? Or where would you, where would you separate the five key coins from? And, you know, to get your key and then... Uh, which... which like locked door do you have to unlock so you know there could be a lot of you know trollish moments and stuff like if you manage to collect like you know all five key coins but you unlock the wrong door and then you know that's like a lot of time and you know work done in there and then you know it all goes to waste but you know this is just a simple um, test of the update and stuff just, just to see how the main stuff works um, I don't think I'm missing anything else though but um, yeah I think that's it uh, what happens if you shake a pow block nothing okay so I think that I covered the majority of everything you know super expert mode uh, the skewers with the thwomps uh, enemies can hold on the keys and you know unlock the key doors and then the key coins if you shake a coin so you know i think i've tested everything here as well as super like shown off or well, explain super expert mode um and i'm gonna try to complete you know the other half of expert mode on my uh during my spring break so i'm gonna try to do that so i can at least try to attempt expert mode sometime in the future and um you know I don't think it's going to be anywhere near completion for expert mode, but, you know, we'll see. But anyways, I think that's going to do it for this video of just showing off the key updates. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys again soon in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and as always, goodbye.